people in here that's been caught up in drug addiction that don't know where to go. They try, they try. I'll get off of it myself. I'll wean myself off. Well, how'd that work? <laughs> time after time. We brought food, water, fed you guys, brought in an awesome band. You've heard some testimonies. What I'm looking for is some lives to be changed right now through the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. I want to hear a prayer drop. Brothers and sisters in Christ, pray right now. Watch this. Watch the Holy Ghost. He's here. I feel the Holy Ghost. Get him, Holy Ghost. This is your church. Lord, do only what you can do. With every head bowed and every eye closed, right where you're at, I want to create a little private space right where you stand. Listen to me. Obey the man of God. Every head bowed and every eye closed. I want you to ask yourself, are you going to spend eternity in heaven or in hell? It's your choice. I'm here to tell you the truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't care what CNN tells you or anybody else tells you. The decision is yours. You can keep living down that path that you're in now. Bitterness, angry, prostitution, alcoholism, drug addiction. Or you can leave it at this altar tonight. And your life will never, ever be the same. Ever. If you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior right now, raise your hand. One, two, three. Raise it. Raise it. Don't be ashamed. Raise your hand. Keep it up. Keep it up. I see you in the back. If you have your hand raised, I want you to come and see me now. Come. Come. Don't put it down and walk away. You come now. Come. Come. Come on, bring it in. I come up here so you guys have room. Come, come from the back lobby. Lobby, you have your hand up. Jesus Christ seen your hand. God seen your hand. He's been working with your heart all day long. The thoughts that you've had today. You, you come in and you think it's all about getting stuff, but it's not. God's been tenderizing your heart all day long. All day long. And he sent two men of God here today to tell you that there is hope in Jesus. There's hope in Jesus Christ. He wants to take your life and turn it around and fill you with joy, peace, and love, abundant to overflow. Come, move in, kids. Come up to the altar. Just watch the equipment. Bring it in. Bring it in because God's not done. God's not done. So there's people who raise their hands that aren't coming. I'm going to give you a minute for the Holy Ghost to move upon you. And there's people that did not raise their hands. That want to come, but they're like so embarrassed. Are you serious? My neighbors here, if they see me at the altar, they don't expect me to act like a Christian. To be all pretty and, and spotless and pure. Well, good luck with that. There was only one sinless man that walked the face of the earth, and that was Jesus Christ. And the rest of us will struggle until the day we die. So I got another question. There's people here that have walked and talk with Jesus Christ like their own brothers and sisters. But you have turned your back on it. You've gone back into the world, you've gotten caught up in the drugs again, and you're so mad at yourself that you were once clean, but now you're caught up again. Well, this is your day, my brothers and sisters. Today is the day. I want you to come. You to come and rededicate your life. Just bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it forward. I mean, go, go down. Get on the gas. Let's get all these people up here. Come. Come. Just a little bit. 
If you're here, it's this all for right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the mighty women and God, women and men of God that you sent to this event today, Lord. Thank you.